Hey guys, today we're taking a normal photo and creating some amazing snow effects in just few minutes. Hey there, my name is Ali, you can find me on Instagram at the link in front of you. Today we're gonna create amazing snow effect. First we'll pull our ray layer to Photoshop. And then we're gonna go to select, color range. And then I'm gonna click somewhere here at the middle greens, not too bright and not too dark. And I'm gonna make sure my fuzziness is 200. Then I'm gonna press OK. It will make a selection. I'm gonna go to new adjustment layer, go to curves adjustment, and bring my highlights to the brightest. Now we have some sort of a snow effect. I just wanna stand on my curves mask, take my brush, make sure it's something like 20 opacity. And it's a soft brush, not hard one. And I just want to erase with the black some of the whites on the man himself. Yes, something like that. Some on his legs too. But it's fine. It looks good because it should be like snow. So the man should have some snow on him as well. So I'm not going to remove it completely. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I want to add some snow in the background. I'm gonna use this texture, it's an asphalt texture for like a road, but it will make it work. I'm gonna put it to screen mode, okay, rasterize it. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press, It's if you look, it's not really visible or not giving the effect we need, so I'm gonna press Ctrl and M, that will open the curves. I'm gonna pump up the whites a lot and decrease the shadows a little bit yes now you can start seeing the snow grains that's looking good now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hold control or command and then press J this will duplicate my layer I'm gonna press now control and T hold alt and shift and make it a little bit big bigger so we have like some sort of variation in the snow maybe I'll press also right click flip horizontal so it's somehow different I'm gonna add one last thing which is filter and then uh, go to blur and choose the motion blur and then you see what it does it makes it more it gives it motion so that it looks like it's falling down I'm gonna make it with an angle maybe like wait I want to see the effect itself okay that's good if we see the before and after okay the last thing I'm gonna do because the image now is like too bright I'm gonna go add another curves adjustment layer pull my blacks a little bit up and now I'm gonna hold this point and just go down a lot something like that okay now we're gonna group all these layers press ctrl and G to make them in one group so we can see the before and after something like completely green and sunny and then transformed into snow effects if you have any questions or if you need anything guys related to Photoshop, just add it in the comments or DM me on my Instagram account and I will do a tutorial for you. Thank you.